Alright, hey YouTube, Ben here again with another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be of the song With Ears to See and Eyes to Hear by Sleeping with Sirens. Uh, I feel like the acoustic version is more popular than the electric version, so um, that's the version I'm going to be teaching. Plus, I always love acoustic songs so much. Like, most of my tutorials are acoustic songs. But, um, so yeah, you're not going to need to know very many chords. The chords you're going to need to know are B minor, B add 11, A5, E major, and add 9. Now, don't worry, this isn't math class. <laughs> like, all those, like, adding and minoring, like, I don't, I don't know. You should see my math grade. It's actually not that bad. No, don't worry. Okay. Uh, no, this is, I'm going to teach you the chords. I'm going to teach you how to play them. The, you should know the names of them just for the fact that I can call out the name of the chord that I'm playing without having to say all the different things. But I will teach you how to play the chords as well. It's not that hard of a song. The hardest part is the strumming pattern, in my opinion. The chords aren't that difficult. There's one switch that's a little difficult, but other than that, there's not really anything hard about it. So let's get into the song, and let's learn something amazing together. All right, um, I did forget one chord when I was doing that before. Also, you need to know is C sharp minor. And it's kind of funny that I forgot that chord because it's like one of the most important chords in the entire song. So, yeah, but okay, so that chord, that's the chord you actually start off on, the C-sharp minor. Now what you're going to do is you get your, your four fingers, first, second, third, fourth, and then you have six strings. The six is your low E string, and the one is your high E string. The, the song's in standard tuning, and there's no capos, so whoopee. Um, so what you do is you get your third finger, and you put it down on the fourth string on the fifth fret. Or no, the 6th fret, my bad. And then you also get your pinky, your 4th finger, and you put it right below that on the 6th fret of the 3rd string. And then you're also going to put your 2nd finger, your middle finger, you're going to go down on the 5th the fifth fret and the 2nd string. And then you're going to get your 1st finger, your pointer finger, you're going to put it on the 4th fret of the 5th string. Now, don't play the 6th string with this. Don't play that string. And try not to play the high E string either. You're just going to try to play the strings that your fingers are on. Mainly the top three, five, four, and three. Those strings are the most important. But try to get maybe the B string, the, sec the second string, try to get it, that in there too. Okay? It's up to you. But those are the, those are the main chords you need to play. Alright? So you start off with that. One strum of that. Oop, that was bad. Here we go. There we go. Okay? And then what you're going to do, you're going to do an A5. Now, it's really similar to an E minor. It's just down a step. It's also really similar to an A minor, except you lift up your first finger. So what it is, is your second finger on the second fret fourth string, and your third finger on the second fret third string. Okay, and you're just playing the fifth, the fourth, and the third strings. Those are the main strings you're trying to play. You can... You can play the B string as well, the second string, if you want to. But as long as you hit those five, four, and three strings, okay? All right, and you do that two times. You just do one strum of each, twice. All right? Okay, and then it goes into, that's like the intro. And then it goes into the first verse. And the first verse has a different strumming pattern, and it adds a, another chord to the progression. Okay, so now you're in the verse. Now the verse, there's um, two parts to it. Now some people say that it's verse and then pre-chorus, or ver just the whole verse. I'm going to call it just the whole verse because it's, I'm, that's just what I'm going to do. So in the verse one, it's split into two parts, though. The first part... Um, it's a very simple strumming pattern that's very similar to the chorus, which I'm going to teach you later. And it's also, it's just the um, C sharp 9 and A5. So what it is, this is what it sounds like. Okay, that's the whole first part of it. Okay, and so what you're going to be doing, it's the C major, C sharp minor, 
C sharp minor, yeah, and then the A5. Now, um, what you're going to be doing, the strumming pattern is down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down. Now that can vary. Um, that's just my interpretation of what the strumming pattern is. Like, I don't actually find strumming patterns. I listen to the song and then I play what I think it sounds like. Now, obviously, it doesn't sound perfectly in, in sync with it. It's not the exact same thing, but it's very similar in my opinion. So, um, what that is, so some people play it down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And some people just do down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down. It's so like you can just do all ups or you can do up, 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 down, up. It's up to you. <laughs> so I like doing, like varying it a little bit. But what I highly recommend is listening to the song while you play it. And that will help. But okay, so what you're doing is you're just doing C sharp minor and A5 two times. Okay, and then it goes into the second part of the verse. This is a little challenging with the strumming pattern. I'm gonna show you a trick though to help you with it because what you're doing, it's kind of like palm muting but reverse a reverse palm mute where it's like where you're not you're in the shape of the chord but you're not actually pressing down. You're just resting your fingers on it. So what I recommend, you start off on the C sharp minor. This is how you play it. You do C sharp minor and then you're gonna do the add nine. The add nine is like the C sharp minor, except up one and over one. What that is, I'm gonna show you. Add nine is just your third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string. Your fourth finger, your pinky finger, is on the seventh fret of the fourth string. Your third, sorry, second finger is on the sixth fret of the third string. And then your first finger is on the fifth fret of the sixth string. Okay, you're aiming to hit the top four strings, six, five, four, and three. The top five, four strings, yeah, top four strings. See, my math grade, no, I can't even add. Okay, I can add nine. Okay, anyway, um, so how it's played is So what that is, is actually, you're going to be playing that four times, okay? But I'm going to show you. So it's in increments of two. First time is always the same, and the second time it varies. What, I'm, what that means, so it's down, up, down, up. It's the same strum pattern as the beginning of the verse, except you're, you're, the only thing you're changing is that you're muting part of it. So it's down, up, down. That's not muted. Then it's up, 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 down, up, down. The up, up part is um, muted. What I do is you're kind of like barring the strings. So you're still in the same uh, format, the same position that your fingers are in, except you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your first finger and just rest it on top. You're gonna lift your, strings, your fingers up just a little bit off the strings. They're still on the strings so that it doesn't really make a noise. But what you're doing is like, that. that's kind of weird if your finger's lifted up. So rest your, just rest your first finger down on that fourth fret. So when you go down, just like rest it. Okay? And just rest it there. That helps you eat the first string as well. And that means that if one of your fingers is a little bit off and it would normally make a noise, your first finger is still barred so it's not gonna, it's still not gonna make a noise. And what the, all that's doing with the when you actually get noise is you're just pressing down a little more. So it's okay. You have to get into the song. You have to get into the rhythm. Otherwise, it's not gonna feel right. You have to actually get into the song. You have to feel the music. Okay. It sounds kind of corny, but you have to get into it. And then when you change it, you're changing. Practice slowly too. Very slowly. Practice slowly. Uh, moving strings because that that'll help you make it more accurate. So what you're doing, uh, so with the C add nine or C sharp minor, it's 
And then you go to the add nine. Do that once, okay. Then go to the C add nine, or C sharp minor again. And then when you go to the add nine this time, it's weird, it's, well it's not weird. Okay, so what it is is you go to the add nine, you do the same thing in the beginning. And then this is the part that changes. And then it goes, you palm mute it, or uh, you reverse palm mute it, I guess. You do up, up, and then down, 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 down. Up, down, 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 up, down. Okay, that's what it is. That's the first time. So you play it two times. You always play C sharp minor once, then the uh, add nine once, then C sharp, C sharp minor again, and then the add nine again. And so uh, the second time you play the add nine is when it changes. Okay? And then you're going to do the same thing again. And then see, it's the second time you're playing the add nine again. Then it changes, so it's down, up, down, down, down. So it's down, up, down, down, up, down, Okay, so that's how it changes. You actually don't meet it at all. Okay, that's the that's so every second time you play an add nine, you change it a little bit. And that goes into the chorus. So all together the verse is this. into the chorus. chorus. Now the chorus, the strumming pattern is like pr um, pretty much the same as the first part of the verse. So what it is, is you're going to start off on the C sharp minor, and it's down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. And then um, you go to the A5, down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. And then you go to an E minor, which is your second finger on the fifth fr fifth string of the second fret, your third finger is on the second fret, fourth string, and your first finger is on the first fret, third string. Down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. Then you go to a B at 11. Whoa, that's a big chord. No, it's easy. It's the same finger shape as the C sharp minor and the add nine. What is it is, is your, this is the hard, one of the harder switches of the song. You have to get you have to practice to get this one, okay? So what it is is your third finger, your ring finger, I guess it is, on the ninth fret of the fifth string. Your fourth finger your, is your pinky. Don't worry, guys. This is actually not a hard uh, chord. Just practice it. Your pinky is on the ninth fret of the fourth string. Your second finger is on the uh, third string eighth fret. And then your first finger is on the sixth string seventh fret. Okay. All you have to worry about is hitting those top four strings. Um, if you hit if you hit the B string, it's okay, like before. But so just hit those four strings is your main main goal. Okay. And then it's still down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Okay. And then you go back and you do the C sharp minor again. Down. A5, down, up, down, up, 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 down. E minor, down, up, down, up, 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 down. B add 9, or B add 11, down, up, down, up, 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 up. Okay. Now, the second time you play it, uh, some people say do uh, a B minor, which is 
I can't do it on my guitar because my guitar is a piece of crap when some of the frets like the f that's horrible that, ma that makes me want to burn my guitar so no I'm not playing that string for you but what it would be is your first finger is on the second fret of the fifth string your third finger is on the fourth fret of the fourth string and then your fourth finger is on the fourth fret of the third string and I'm not gonna play that because first of all it doesn't sound good on my guitar and second of all no I'm just not gonna do it so it sounds just fine doing this if you want to do it like that on your guitar feel free to it make the song your own I mean you're learning this song to have fun part of getting into the rhythm like you, like with the song, you have to get into the rhythm of the song to be able to play it nicely. That's the whole essence of playing guitar. You have to get into the music. It helps you get into the music. It's, it's like a pathway to, through the music. I'm being like so deep right now. Like you don't even know. Okay. <laughs> no, just, okay. Let me get back to what I'm teaching. Okay. So the chorus all together. Then it goes back into the verse two, which I'm going to teach now. Okay, so now you're in the second verse, and it's almost, well, it's similar to the first verse, but it changes a little, so I'm going to change, teach you. So you start off again on the C sharp minor. Add nine. C sharp minor. Add nine, but it changes, remember, it changes the second time you play it. And then make sure after you, you do down, 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 make sure you stop it because music pauses for like a second, not even that, like half a second, but make sure it's dead silent. So it's. And then you do it one more time. Okay. And then it goes into a riff, okay? The riff is C sharp minor. You're going to play it eight times. What you're doing, though, is... Okay, so what you're doing is... You press down, then let go a little bit, let your fingers rest on it, so it kind of reverse palm mutes it, but also do kind of like a karate chop. Do, do kind of like a mute it with your palm. Do that eight times, and then you go to the A5, and you do that four times, and then down, up, up, down, up, up. So what that is is. And then you go back to the C sharp minor, and then it's. And it goes into the chorus, okay? So all of verse two is this. No, it's... into the chorus. Now you're just going to play the chorus as normal. And then you're going to be doing the C sharp minor, but you're just going to be playing the fifth, the fourth, and the third string, and you're going to do a down strum four times. And do it kind of hard, too. So it's... 
and you do it four times. And that's the part where Kellen's being like, So come down now. Come down from your tower now. Come down now. From your tower. Okay, and then it goes into uh, another. Um, the the next part you play the chord progression is that'll take you through the rest of the song but quick side note don't like do hate mail on my singing i'm not a singer i'm a guitar player and i'm that committed of a teacher to actually sing even though i have a horrible voice just so i can give you kind of like an idea of where in the song you are so i'm just trying to help you i'm not trying to say i'm a good singer because i know i'm not so just just knowing that hate mail is not needed. I mean improvements. That if you offer suggestions to do it better, that's one thing. But like just being like, dude, you're a horrible singer. I mean, yeah, okay, okay. So yeah, okay. Um, let's do something productive now. And then you go into an E minor. Okay. So what that is is your second finger goes on the fifth string of the second fret. Your third finger goes on the uh, second fret of the fourth string. And your first finger goes on the first fret of the third string. And so um, these are all down strums, okay? And I'll tell you when you switch from down strums to alternating strums, okay? But all this is down strums and it goes In the last part, you do an up strum, so it's down, 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 up. Okay, and then you go to a um, B at eleven. I think that's what it was. And then you go to a C sharp minor. And then you go to an A five, and this is where you do the alternate strumming, which is actually um, you're doing the strumming that you did in the chorus. And then you do, go back to the E minor, and you're going to play, so that all was one measure, so you're going to play that three times. <coughs> oh my gosh, I did that on video. Am I going to put that in the YouTube video? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Um, and so yeah, you do that three times. Gesundheit. <laughs> actual song it does an effect on it where it changes the way it sounds a little bit what you're gonna do in that in real life is actually on acoustic just play it softer okay but the, also the strumming changes and it changes to what the chorus is okay so but it's still the same progression so you're gonna play two times that progression an E minor, the third time you do it, playing E minor kind of hard. Down, down, and then you you pause it, okay? So it's down, down. Make sure it's hard. That's important that you strum it hard on this one. And then you go to a soft thing and contrast it. It's kind of like emotions. You have to get, you have to get like I said, get into the song because it's the way you're feeling and the way the emotions that the song conveys that allows you to play the song better because it allows you to get actually feel what the song was. Shut up, computer. I don't know if that hurt that or not. That nah, wasn't even hard enough. 
just rowing in the mood again. Okay, and then you go to a um, B minor or B at eleven. Note. No, there we go. And you just do one strum of that. Then one strum of C sharp minor. And then one strum of A A5. And the actual song, that's where it ends. But I, like always, I like to add an extra chord at the very end of the song. I'll play an E minor. Okay. So what that is, um, playing from after the chorus ends, it will be, let's see. soft okay and then that's the entire song um watch my cover at the end of it because that's where i'm going to put all of it together and then you can oh it's going to be close up um so you can see it a little bit better where my fingers are and then i'm going to try to get a video of also the strumming with it so, um, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you. I'm a very weird person, so that's why there's a lot of, like, goofy stuff that I say or do, all of that stuff. It's just, I'm a goofy person, so sorry if that doesn't, like, fit your learning style or something. I'm just trying to help people learn these songs. Um, note, I don't know, if you, if you follow me, if you're a subscriber, this may interest you, I don't know. If you follow my Facebook page, you actually know this. Like, everyone who follows my Facebook page is Mexican. Nothing against Mexicans. Like, that's awesome. But I don't know why everyone who follows me is Mexican or Latino or whatever. But I don't care. They're, everyone's awesome. So, they, all of them know. Everybody knows. Except people who haven't liked my page. So, you should like my Facebook page if you don't know this. But, to the informative part. I actually was at the Sleeping With Sirens Pierce the Veil concert, the world tour, in... Um, or was it Philadelphia and uh, Pennsylvania? I was barricade. It was so awesome. Like seriously, I got some videos and I put it up, but I couldn't bring my good camera. So I wasn't able to get some really good quality videos with good quality sound. The, like my phone, oh my God, it was horrible. But like with my phone, but anyway, I had an awesome time. I actually got a pick from Justin. Look at that. So, that's right. So, yeah, I met, and I got to actually meet them, too. I got a meet and greet. It was so, it was one of the best days ever. Like, really. I got, I got to shake Kellen Quinn's hand. Like, really, I got to touch Kellen Quinn's hand. <laughs> this is a man fangirling. I guess a man. Yeah, I'm a man. I'm a man. Okay, anyway, so I hope this tutorial helped you. This is an unconventional ending to my tutorials. They're usually, like, I don't know, more formal. I hope this helps you, though. I'm a weird person, so that's why this thing's weird. But I hope this helps. If it didn't, let me know. Comment, um... I have an email for this, so you can email me too if it's more of a angry thing. I don't know. 
or more of a personal thing. And I've done recordings for people for like um, for like uh, charities and stuff. Like I've played guitar for them so they can play it in the background of like speeches and stuff. Uh, and that was really cool. One time I did that. So yeah, just anything. Um, except preferably not like hate stuff because like why? There's no point in it. But if you want to, then do it. I don't care. And like or dislike. I got my first dislike on Roger, my Roger Rabbit tutorial. I was so pissed. I was like, why? My first dislike of any video ever. But okay, that's fine. Some people don't like it and I want that. So in a way, thank you because nobody's perfect. All right. So yeah, uh, watch the ending if you want the cover because I hope it helps you even more. But if it doesn't, I'm sorry. If this didn't help you, I'm sorry. But if it did, I'm not sorry because I'm fucking help you. I don't know. Okay. Watch it. Um, yeah. Keep on practicing, keep on rocking, and keep on listening. True.